work. All right, we're going to put a shark in a light bulb. Let me show you the process. Follow along as best you can. There is a PDF that accompanies it. So open the image of the light bulb that I've provided for you. And want you to use the lasso tool to select the filament. So lasso tool it's right here. And we're going to select the filament in three steps. And we're going to use the content aware fill. So there's our first. Under edit, we're going to go to fill. We're going to go content aware and normal tell it okay all right so that did the first part command d you select that selection I'm trying to select parts of these bulbs that are similar i'm going to go back and use the content aware tool again fill content aware okay command d and this last section here, you could do the clone stamp tool if you want. I'm just going to stay doing this. So edit, fill, content to wear. All right, that looks pretty good. So got that done in three steps. We're going to create a new layer. We're going to call it shadow. And we're going to use the ellipse tool to create a circle below the light bulb on the shadow layer. So, new layer, call it shadow. Okay. Go grab the ellipse tool. And it's set for a fill of black. So that's fine. <clears throat> now we're going to take this layer and we're going to add a Gaussian blur. So we're going to go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm going to rasterize it because it wants us to. And then that looks okay. I'm going to change the opacity on this layer 40%. Okay. So we're going to bring in the water image. I'm going to use the move tool to position the water where we want it. So we're going to go to our water image, open. It's our water. I'm going to select all, edit, copy, back to my Photoshop document, <clears throat> paste. Okay, so we have our water layer. And we're going to move it around with the move tool. Looks like it's about right. Fill in the light bulb. <clears throat> so once I get it to kind of where I want it, I'm going to use the blend tool, which is up here. And I'm going to choose multiply. It gives me a little see-through. And now we're going to create a layer mask so we can remove the water. So on the water layer, we're going to create a layer mask. Then we've got our black. Black reveals. erase all this stuff that we don't want on the outside. I'm doing this a little bit. 
quicker just to get through the video. It's not perfect. You guys can do perfect work. Okay, so that looks relatively realistic. We've got our water in a bottle. <clears throat> now we're going to add a little bit of color. So we're going to create an adjustment layer for the water. We're going to choose the hue and saturation. We're going to select clipping mask for the option. So we're going to go here. This builds an adjustment layer. And we choose hue and saturation. And see where this was created up here. And then down here, we open up. <clears throat> It's opened up our hue and saturation. This is our clipping mask. And notice this just affects the water. So on this one, I set the hue to 12. You can do whatever you want. I set the saturation to 40. And I have the light, lightness of minus two. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in this image of a shark. This image of the shark is a little different than the one that I worked on for the PDF, but that's okay. So we're going to go File, make sure I save as I go along. <clears throat> So I'm going to say file, open, grab the shark. Okay. Okay, so now we've got all this <clears throat> background around the shark. So we're going to, let's see if the magic wand will select. Did a pretty good job. Let's lower the tolerance for it to about 20. So we use this to do a quick, dirty outline. And then we can create a layer mask and get rid of the rest. So I'm going to select. The inverse on this and come back to my shark or light bulb and I'm going to paste and it didn't select my shark so we'll try it again edit copy edit paste okay so we could use the eraser or the layer map create a new layer mask but since we're working with Layer masks, we're going to do that. Put a new layer mask, got our black, then our brush, and just clean this up a little bit. Again, this is a little faster than I would do if I was doing this as an assignment for myself. And I don't want to. make this video too long. Okay. And I went over a little bit of the shark up here. So if I turn this to white, I can bring this part of the shark back. <clears throat> okay, so now I need to size my shark. So I'm going to hit Command T for transform. And if I want it to move proportionally, I click on that link up there. And we have a proportional shark. Let's turn them a little bit. All right, so now I've got my shark. He's in the light bulb. 
So I'm going to lower the opacity on the layer with the shark to 80%. So he blends in a little bit. Actually, I'm going to do it. Now I'll do it to 80%. Okay, so now our shark is in the bulb, and we're going to do one more thing. We're going to add the splash. So we're going to go find it, go file, and here's our splash. And again, our splash has this dark background we need to get rid of. I already did get rid of it. <clears throat> but if uh, you were to select the magic wand, you could change that background. So copy, paste, so now we have <clears throat> our splash in here. I'm going to set the blending mode to overlay. So here's our blending mode. Let's name this splash. And our blending mode is going to get set to overlay. We can experiment with these to see what you like. And let's see. Bring down the opacity on it. Just a little bit. And we'll grab our brush. Layer mask. And our layer mask isn't working the way it's supposed to. It's supposed to be black. And <clears throat> there we go. And here's our shark in a light bulb. It's still it's a little bit that needs to be cleaned up in here. And there you have it. So that's your assignment. When you're done, I want you to create two more images using this technique. Have fun with it.